I think some people have, you know, more exposure with the use of math in a field like physics. Uh, it's kind of assumed that when you're doing physics, you have to write down some equations to describe the physical world. And really, for a lot of the same reasons that that's beneficial in physics or in other fields that are more traditionally associated with quantitative methods, um, it's the same reason why it's useful in neuroscience, which is that you have a complicated system that you're trying to understand. It has a lot of interacting parts. The brain is made up of billions of neurons, for example. Um, and so it makes sense that you can't just speak about it in words and expect to get somewhere. You can't just, I can't just talk to you and be like, well, that neuron's connected to that neuron and that one connects to that one. And so therefore, when this happens, this pattern of neural activity is going to happen. Like, you just can't work through it like that. You need to eventually put specifics down on a paper. And, you know, when you're writing specifically enough, it turns into math. Um, and so the equations are a way to be very precise in how you think the system is working. And then also there's just a lot of benefit around the infrastructure that exists around mathematics and mathematical modeling. You know, you put something into the form of an equation and now you can analyze it without even having to think through or use a computer. You can just kind of pencil and paper, move the symbols of the equations around and come to some new conclusions that you didn't immediately realize were there in the equations. Um, and then also you can run things as a simulation on a computer if you can describe it in mathematics or in computational terms.